Okay, so uh, welcome, hello to everyone. Thank you for attending, thank you for joining us today, and thank you for fxstreet.com uh, to give me the opportunity to speak. This is my first time here with this, um, okay, with this new software, so let me introduce myself and then I explain some things regarding it. Okay, my name is Telmo Pinto, I'm the founder and director of market operations at Intuition Trading Group. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with us, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, and unified trading solutions for investors. Okay, uh, I'll go briefly to the, to the company in, in short. So, uh, regarding the, this new software, if you have any questions, okay, um, it's preferable you put, you put them on the question and answer box, okay, uh, so I will answer them. Um, if anything is informing to the room, you can put on the on the on the main chat. Okay, so let's go through here. Okay, it's important before we start uh, to read here some parts of the disclaimer. Okay, um, any levels or trades I alert in in the in the money webinars, so our series of webinars. It's important to know they are not a solicitation to invest, okay, and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. It's preferable to seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. For those who are new here, um, um, we have our previous webinars, okay, they are recorded and they are available at fxstreet.com, okay, in the webinar section. Um, yesterday I, um, I attend, okay, to, um, to the monthly webinar when I explain even with, sorry, greater detail uh, the system and the tools I use. So um, it's preferable you see uh, those uh, previous webinars in order to understand okay, the, the, um, the tools I use. So let's move on here. Uh, just to know that we have uh, our automated forex trading signal services. Okay, You can see more details at our web page or at fxtreet.com uh, web page on the service. Okay, uh, As a user or client of fxtreet.com you will have a 10% discount on the fees. Okay, this is our statistics since inception. Uh, we begin our company. Okay, we found our company at the beginning of the year. So this is just to you to know some. Okay, our reports. You have more details on our website. So any questions, feel free to ask or. Contact us. It's good you go there at, at least to see okay what we do and how we do and how is our statistics. So let's move on here to the platform. Okay, let me is this stop sharing? Okay, I got it. Let me open here the platform and let me share your application. Okay. Okay. Can every, can everybody see here the um, the, um, the application? It's good to know if everyone is following me. Okay, great. Okay, is everything okay? Can everybody see here the the um, the, um, the platform that I am showing? Okay, I'm showing you to share. So there is no comments. Maybe is. Okay, here. Yeah. So this is the the the, the euro dollar. Okay. Tomorrow we'll have the non-farm payrolls report. So that report is very important. Okay, regarding the the, the employment rate on the U.S. and it is the most volatile report. Okay, that okay that bring more volatility to the market. Today we have, but was not surprised from the ECB, um, the maintenance of the of the rates. Okay, so the levels to watch, and this is important because euro is in very interesting situation now. Uh, 
here to begin develop here, okay, a huge resistance, and the resistance was 129.50 area, okay, this area here, this area here was the resistance of the market. As you can see here, market tried to break this level three times, break here, go and test here, then made the low, then retest, then made the higher low, okay, um, sorry, a lower low, and then go and retest, okay, then go down and retest here again, and then finally, when we have the announcement from the ECB, okay, and the comments, Mr. Draghi was speaking, or is still speaking, okay, we had a break here. And now the situation is this. Will Euro have momentum to break the 130 level, okay, this level here, and go to the one, to test this top, is the question as a trader we need to, to do now, okay? If there is momentum for Aero go and test the previous, the, the, the next, okay, the next resistance, we can interpret this level, okay, this pause here as a minor resistance in the market. But as it, as it is too close from the major one, that was the 129.50 area, we can interpret, okay, this can be a resistance, here this level can be a resistance because was the, the drop that market made from this first congestion here, let me show you, this was the first attempt, then retest, then second attempt, and then finally break, okay? So this is what I used to call a minor resistance in the market. Although for now is old in the market, okay, but I think at least market will test the 130, the level, okay, market was here to 129.95, okay, 95 air, but uh, I think we need to see 1.30 there, okay, that, this is my opinion, at least market need to go to that level. If can break, we can expect Okay, a stop of the price, okay, first at this level, the 130.02, okay, or the 130 level, this will be the first attempt that market will make, close here the rank of R, okay, and then we go to the 130.20. At this level here, the 130.20, we need to be, okay, let me show because, okay, we can, okay, nice. At this level here, okay, this one, this one, this level here, okay, this level here, we need to, to be very alert on the market. We put it on red so we can see this level here will be huge importance. Because we know that the 20s and the 80s are the levels that markets, okay, tend to resist or support. And I don't think, and this is my opinion, that market will go, okay, to 130.20 and then break, okay, and go straight test the 130.40, this level here. Okay, this major level here, uh, sorry. Okay, this is the 130.20 level that we need to be alert, and then go straight to this level. What we can have is, okay, market will test here the 130, okay, then possible test of 130.20, and then could make this range here prior to the non-farm payrolls. So, in my opinion, this will be the level for the non-farm payrolls. Okay, so this will be 
the levels we need to watch on the non-farm payrolls. Okay, at least for what I'm seeing now on the market. If prior to non-farm payrolls, the market is testing, okay, let's say, that put here with another color, okay, if market made an extension and test this level, we have this ranging area here, possible ranging area, okay? So this will be the, the key level for a further up move on the euro, okay? For now, the euro is here at 29.80 area, okay, the 80s, okay, here on 129, 29.80 area. In my opinion, it will go test at least the 103, okay, need to test, and then we'll see if go to there, okay, and if the U.S. agreement, okay, and if the S&P goes further up, can help the euro to go and test the 130.40 level. If go to there, we need to be alert for these levels. On other hand, okay, on the other side, because trading always have two sides, okay, of the trading, if they will not go to this level, we need to watch this level here, okay? We have this, you, market can, okay, test the 130, and then let me put, sorry, let me put here with another color, okay? Select here, okay, can be this, the cyan, okay. Can go to this level here, and we have this, another ranging area here. Okay, so resuming is this. For the upper side, we have the 130 to test, after that the 130.20, and the extreme 130.40. If break the 130.40, we can expect, okay, the, the, the push up on the market and can go to 131 level. On the other side, if market have, have not momentum, okay, or, or the investors are not willing to accept these levels, euro can go down, and we need to be alert for the 129 area, okay, 128, 90, 129 area, okay. For tomorrow, uh, an important thing that I notice on the on the non-far payrolls and is curious is that. The first move of the market will always be the opposite move. If, for instance, the non-farm payrolls, okay, the news come out, you see a spike up on the market, the majority of the times the market will tend to reverse from this spike up and then continue falling down. On the other hand, if we have a spike down on the, on the price, the price tend to go up, okay, and continue up. The majority of the times, this will happen on the non-farm payrolls, okay? But as we have here the levels, let me clean this, okay? As we have here the levels, and we know the levels to watch, will be, okay, will be much easier to 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 notice this, okay? Because, and you have, you can put that this okay written outside, okay, on on your book or on your trading book, and you be alert for these levels. Okay, these are the important levels. If you go here to the 34 pips, okay. What we can see is that, okay, we have here a down, oh, let me put these annotations, it's easier, okay, annotate, is easier, let me put here, for instance, okay, the green one, we have this down here, then the up, then the down, then the up, then the down, but you can notice, and this is curious, and is easier to see here on the Renkos, is that the movements of the market were losing momentum here. 
you have here, okay, five bars from the break. You have your, you have your a break, okay. We have here five bars from the break, the break here. We have five bars here, then a small retracement of two bars, then four bars, then two, then three. So the market was losing momentum on the downside. And then what happened? Market, okay, decide to go up, did a small retracement, and now this is the key level we need to watch. Okay. This is the key level here we need to watch. Here, this level. Okay. This is the level here. The... Let me, okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry, okay, I go here when I, I will be more advanced in the system, I will go to there, but okay, this is the key level we need to watch, we have here the support, okay, is the 129 area that is in agreement with the 21 pips chart, we have here this minor resistance, as we can see on the 21 pips chart, and we have here, okay, the major resistance, 130, uh, 130.20. On the 34 pips, it's even more easier. We see that, okay, arrow could go there if break the 130.20. You put this side by side. So we can see here, okay. On the left we have the 21, on the right we have the 34 pips, okay. So let's put here. On the 21, the left chart, we see, okay, we have here this minor resistance that market is doing now, okay. Then we have the 130.20, if can break the 130.20. And when I see break, is at least one bar, okay, above or below the lines we draw here. If you have a break of the 130.20 area, you see here market goes to at least here, okay, the 130.40, and are able to close to to clear this last line here, markets tend to go up and can go to the 131 level. So all in agreement now to analyze the upside. So the levels to the upside are clear here. I'm not saying that the market will go upside, okay, we are analysis the, okay, the levels for the upside. From the down, okay, we need to see Okay, a solid break of this support here. This support is the 129. Okay, if can break this 139 level, you can see here on the 34 pips. If you see a break, okay, we can go to this level first, and then we can test the 128 to go further down. Okay. So, these are the levels. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, okay, um, you can put on the questions and answers, okay, box, so I can see your questions, okay. So, we'll see now, just let's stop here the sharing. Let me open here the order book here, so we can see what is happening on the, okay. Okay, is this. Okay, so I think everybody can see this. Great. Okay, let me open just here. Okay, this is the order book of the of the Oanda. So order book. The levels we can see, okay, since yesterday, 
market was making up, 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 and now what do we have? We have a lot of orders, and these are the, what I used to call, and I explained this on, on previous webinar, this is what I call the islands, okay, because they are isolated. We have here short, stop, short, stop, short, stop, short, or, or buying, stop, okay. This orange here, okay, are small stops from the buyers in the market, okay? So there is no, okay, much confidence or much momentum in the market that they are in agreement that, okay, price can go and further up, okay? On the other side, from the short year, the majority of the stops are at 132.50 level. Okay, this is about 250 pips above the current price. Okay, so this is a higher price. We need to see a break of the 130 and then the possible go to the 131. From this order book, what we can okay, interpret now is that there is almost 100 pips from difference in the agreement of the price. And when I say agreement, of course there is agreement because uh, there are buyers and sellers on the market at the current price. But okay, the majority of the traders are only willing, okay, to give up from these long trades, the last ones, if market comes again to 129 area. So if you want to have our stops from these long trades, if you are already wrong, uh, I advise to put stops below the 29, the 129. If you are short, for me you are at least, okay, for what I see you are on the wrong side of the market, okay, and you need to be alert for a possible break of the 130, but if you are short, uh, the best place, okay, to put your stops will be now above the 130.20 area, okay? Because we have here the majority, okay, these are shorts, but after that are long stops, okay, from the longs, we, we have shorts, stop, short, stop, okay, this is a non-agreement of the market players, okay? The markets are not in agreement. This is a... Um, um, this, this is a tough area to trade. If you are out from the market, okay, stay out until you see a clear break. Okay, if market can go to 130 and then can break, okay, or if market can break to 129 and then come back. Let me put here so we can see here. These are the levels. If you go here to the platform, Okay, the levels are in agreement, okay, completely in agreement here, okay. If you see here on the 21 pips chart is my main time frame to trade, okay, is the 21 pips. This is the area here, this is the area where are the, we can use now the annotation. Let me, okay, annotate, okay. These are the area, okay. These are the area, where are the stops? Okay, this area here is the stops level, okay? Or the non-agreement in the price. Okay, I will finish, I will finish now, okay. These are the areas of the non-agreement of the price. So for today and tomorrow, be alert for the downside for the 129, okay, or be careful on the 130, if market can go to 130, then we have the 130.20, and then we have the 130.40, okay. This is what we can call a congestion area, okay, some congestion area, I put a C here, okay. But if market is able to break this, 
I don't see any okay, any problems to market go and test the 131 okay to go straight here and test the 131 so for today and tomorrow be alert to these levels uh, if you have any questions okay let me only finish here okay if you will let me put only this okay I think you'll go there great if you have any questions please feel free to go to email me at tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com or go to our website or go to fxstreet.com uh, okay uh, services uh, page we are there so um, thank you uh, tomorrow we will not we will not have the in the money due to non-farm payrolls and special uh, webinar at FX Street so um, I hope you all enjoy the session uh, hope to see you all on Monday okay I'll be here on Monday have a very enjoyable trading a very enjoyable weekend so see you then have a have a rest of nice day okay bye thank you